In this tutorial I'll show you how to create a planking experience in VR. Jesus. Jesus. First of all, Bring in the Oculus integration from the Asset Store. Steam VR and others will work as well. Get some free buildings. I'm using this free package in the Asset Store called White City. Create a plane. I'm making it 100 by 100 for now. Bring in a building. Create a plank as a child of the building. Remove the main camera. Bring in the OVR player controller and place it on the plank. Select the OVR camera rig. Set the tracking origin type to floor level. Select the player controller and add the character camera constraint. Drag the OVR camera rig to the slot in the constraint. Set the gravity modifier to zero in the player controller script. Now the player controller has no gravity at all. Turn it on again and the player will fall. Leave it off for now. Add a box collider to the player controller. This will be what detects when we are supposed to fall. Set it to his trigger and resize it. Select the plank and set its collider to his trigger as well. Select the player and add a script. I'm calling it fall. Copy this simple script. In this script all we do is checking if another collider exits the player collider. If the exiting collider has the tag plank. Then call the method add gravity with the parameter of 1. We will create this method shortly. First we need to add the tag plank to the plank. Now select the player and double click the OVR player controller script to edit it. 
anywhere inside the class. Add this simple script. All this script does is modifying the gravity of the player. In the same way as I did in the inspector. Ok let's test. Oops. When we use the onTrigger exit function at least one of the game objects needs to have a rigid body. Let's add one to the plank. And now try again. Great. It works. But there is still a huge problem if you are using version 12 of the Oculus integration package. I have spent many hours trying to figure out why the colliders are not following the player after this update. I have yet to understand why this happens. My solution for now is to use an older version of the Oculus integration. To do this we need to remove the one we have installed. Close your project and go to your project folder and remove the Oculus folder. Open your browser and go to this link. I will post it in the description. Download this package. Reopen your project in Unity. In your assets folder, import package, custom package, find the package you just downloaded and import it. Remove the main camera and bring in the OVR player controller. Add the character camera constraint and drag the camera rig. Check dynamic height. Test and see that the collider is following. Nice. Now it works. But we do need to add the scripts and reset the gravity modifier. Recreate the collider on the player. Now place the player on the plank. To do this quickly, I'm going to make it a child of the plank. Set its positions to zero. The bring it out so it's not a child.
Everything is so white it's hard to see. I'm creating a red material for the plank. Now, let's test again. Good stuff. Now we need to add sound and minor modifications. First I want some wind sound when we fall. Create an audio source on the player. Go to the fall script. Add these three lines of code. Create a sound folder and import your sound. My sounds are available at patreon.com. Drag the audio source and the sound to the slots in the fall script. Let's modify the gravity so that we fall slower. Let's bring in some textures to make the floor look more like real ground. Drag whatever texture you like to the ground. Let's make the scene restart once we hit the ground. In the fall script add these lines of code. Here we are checking where the player is in world space along the Y axis. If he is below 1.8 meters. Reload the scene. Let's make the plank a lot smaller. And add some material that looks a little more like a plank. Add more buildings to the scene. That's enough for now. Find and import a splat sound. Modify the fall script with these lines of code. Here we use a boolean to make sure the splat sound only play once. We use the invoke method to delay the reload of the scene by one second. Let's test it so far.
great. There is a lot more we can do but it will only be superficial stylings. I will do some stuff to make it look a little better for the demo in the beginning of this video but I won't film it. If you want my complete source it's available on patreon.com. Link in the description. Please like and subscribe for more VR tutorials.